no further ado, why don't we have the uh, the challengers introduce themselves. Robert, would you like to start? Sure, is this working? Uh, my name is Robert Mortensen. I am a CLA. I work for a uh, an Alliance member out in Utah called Indigit. And I think this is my fourth time up on stage, and I have yet to beat Darren, so hopefully that will happen today. <laughs> All right. In with us, Neil. Hi, I'm Neil Turley. Uh, I'm an intern, actually, at National Instruments for the Rio Software Group. Um, yeah, I've learned Labby for the first time last year when I interned here, and so I'm still new to it, but I love it. I'm surprised we let them away from their desk. <laughs> All right, are you guys ready to start? Yeah. Woo! Oh, come on, come on, give me something. Are you guys ready to start? There we go, there we go. All right, hands off the keyboards. Question number one. Oh, hold on, hold on. I think Labby just crashed here. Is that, Did it really? Is that stage? Is that I think so. Supposed to be happening? Oh, no, there we go. We're good. Nope, we're good. Oh, we're good. Sorry about we're that. We're good. Should I open up the sound check in the end? Nope. Nope. Everyone good? All right, so we have. We have LabVIEW base on both their exact same images, so there's no uh, no cheating. So here we go. First question: Open and run a shipping example that shows how to create a 3D model of a solar system. Go. Open and run a shipping example. Help find examples that shows how to create a 3D model of a solar system. I would have given this one to Darren, but he just did a complete overhaul of the shipping example, so he probably knows exactly where this is. He's shaking his head yes. Which the shipping examples have, have improved in Live 2013. You guys need to go check them out. Also, search in uh, shipping examples has improved. Uh-oh. Oh, can we switch? There we go. And, nope, there we go. One point to Robert. So Neil got shot once. Sorry about that, Neil. <laughs> All right. So question number two, and if, uh, if we could, as soon as we start uh, the challenge, just switch back and forth. I'll make some commentary on that. All right. So, uh, okay. For the most updated listing of patents, which may cover the NI products being used in LabVIEW, what is the URL people should visit? You can find it within LabVIEW. Go. For the most updated list of patents, which may cover NI products being used in LabVIEW, what is the URL people should visit? You must find this URL and show it to the audience where you found it. So it looks like which, uh, what do we got? Oh, I'm trying to think. Who's this? That looks, oh, hang on, hands up, hands up. If we could switch over to this monitor. There we go, inna.com slash patents. Congratulations, two points. Man, Neil. No. You got okay. Are you got are you ready for this last one? Hopefully not. Hopefully not his last one. Alright. Let's see. Let's pick a good one. Here we go. Open a new finite measurement sample project. Came out in Livy 2012. Change the code so that you can press the analyze button and it returns the maximum value of the acquired data instead of the mean. Also make the dialog box read signal statistics equals max. So again, open, you can go ahead and start, open a finite measurement sample project. Change the code so whenever you press the analyze button, it returns the maximum value. Right now it is set up to return the mean value. And also change the dialog that pops up to say signal st statistics max. Who are we looking at here? This is, uh, this is not Neil. Neil is, uh, I don't know what he's looking at. He's, oh, we're getting there. This is Robert, we're looking at the example finder. I don't know if sample projects are in the example finder, Robert. Oh, I think this is Neil. Yep, we're on the uh, creation wizard. Oh, open the finite measurement sample project. Good choice to hit that next button, Neil. Congrats. Now, the laptops are thinking. Time, Say it again. Say, open the finite measurement sample project. Change the code so that whenever you press the analyze button, it returns the maximum value instead of the mean. And also change the dialog box so that it pops up and says signal statistics max. Right now it says signal st statistics mean. 
So we're still processing. These are really slow computers. I think these are the ones that uh, we give the interns. <laughs> you should be accustomed to it, Neil. Ooh, that's a really pretty looking block diagram. I wonder who coded that. <laughs> Darren. <laughs> that's why they get these questions, not Darren. All right, we're going through cases, figuring things out. Oh, window. What are we looking? Oh, project. Maybe it's in there. I think this is, we should have had a background so we could tell who this is. This is Neil. This is Neil looking through here. Maybe. So one more time. Open finite measurement. Change the code so whenever you press the analyze button, it's on, it's on the front panel, Neil. Analyze button, it returns the maximum value instead of the mean. So if you try running that guy. Oh, yep. Uh-oh. There you go. He's getting there. What's amazing is that our interns throughout the summer, they uh, start programming in lab. You learn. Oh, if we could show Roberts. There we go. Max, it should, it should be 0.99. The max is it's between negative 1 and 1. Neil, I'm sorry, bud. You're fired. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, of course. I'm just kidding. Just go back to work. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much. And now, Neil, if you don't mind, exit gracefully off the stage. We'll bring up this guy named Darren, who you guys may have heard of. All right. Good work, Robert.